you you just don't need anything to feel beautiful. You don't hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rere, and uh, today we are going to talk about my hair, my hair journey, pretty much since I big chopped. And I'm gonna be, I'll be dropping some, you know, a few pictures so you guys can see, you know, from start to actually now how my hair has been growing and I'm gonna be talking about a lot of stuff so I just want you guys to sit down you know chillax relax get some tea get some coffee and yeah let's just chill listen to me <laughs> okay so um, I have a different hairstyle today and I'm gonna get to it but I want to start first by talking about where it started exactly so you guys have pretty much seen my hair before the big chop how full it, it was you know the afro the huge afro the thick hair and everything and um a lot of people till today it's been eight months now since i've done the big chop yeah it's been eight months and a few days or something because i big chop on uh, february 16th and I actually posted two pictures together where you know like the day I big chop till you know like maybe two or three weeks ago and it's just crazy because I had no idea my hair has grown this much because honestly length has never been necessary like you know crucial crucial to me I've always been focusing on the health of my hair how healthy it was and you know like just making sure that it stays moisturized but anyways I feel like I'm already rambling but I first of all want to answer to this question because till today like a lot of people keep on asking me why I big chopped. Well, I want to start off by saying that I decided to go natural in 2013. Yeah, my hair was super damaged, like it was just bad and since then, you know, like I stopped with the heat, chemicals and all of that so I pretty much went natural. Everything was going pretty well and I was actually, you know, taking like some some hair pills like to help like you know with the growth and everything as the years you know like passed by i felt like yeah my hair was definitely got bigger and everything but the reason why i big chopped is because i felt like it was just not growing as much and um let me just give you this example okay so let's just say there's a mirror in front of you and some way somehow it ends up like breaking so what do you think is gonna be better putting the pieces back together or just getting a new one and that's exactly how I started feeling as I was you know going with like the transition part because I feel like my hair was just not growing and um, one thing that I've definitely noticed since I big chop is that my hair texture has totally changed because before I big chop I feel like my hair was definitely a 4C, a strong 4C but like some part was definitely like you know like I mean I feel like I'm not the only one in the crown area like it's always the like the kinkiest part you know the kinkiest area where like the the hair gets drier and everything so I feel like I was definitely between a 4B and 4C. This part the crown area was definitely a strong 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 4C and the rest you know like towards the front like I feel like my hair has always been softer so like I would say 4B it was always super 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 dry you know I have thick hair you know I have volume and everything so I literally had to pretty much moisturize my hair pretty much every single day because my hair would absorb you know like the the products like quick like right away like literally so I'm kind of like exaggerating okay when I say every day but like literally maybe like every two or three days you know what I'm saying and it was just annoying because you know like with this amount of hair like you cannot do much and I feel like on the other side I really didn't know how to like pretty much take care of it so I would just you know do some cornrows throw away do some like just hairstyles and not even like moisturize my hair like no oil no nothing and it was maybe like before I decided to big chop that you know like the last few months before I big chop that you know I started to like really practice how to like just learn how to take care of it so you guys are seeing like all the hairstyles video like I'm learning as you know I'm practicing like I was just practicing on my hair and seeing you know what products would work best on me and what products will be healthier for my hair my hair was just not growing as much and it was big there was a lot of volume it was definitely still growing but 
I just feel like my hair was just not growing to its full potential. I just feel like I, I was just like, there was just something wrong, you know, like, I'm not expecting you guys to like really understand what I'm saying because at the end of the day, like, it's my hair and I was the one pretty much like dealing, dealing with it every single day. So I could tell like the difference. It's not something that you will see like right away, but I could feel, you know, like the difference, like my hair, like when I was doing some hairstyles and everything, like the texture was just not that and it was just not going as much and i felt like i was really trying to take care of it like towards the end but like nothing you know i felt like okay like maybe you should try to like take better care of your hair but like nothing honestly like and i know that in some videos like my hair seems like it hasn't been trimmed but i swear to god like i would trim my hair and two months later like it would still look the same as if like i hadn't done anything so i was just like you know what like just start over and a lot of people have also been asking me you know like should i transition should i big chop i'm not gonna tell you what to do with your hair because this is your hair you know what works best for you and i know that the big chop is definitely something very 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 scary so i'm not expecting you to do it right away because it takes time to get used to it also a lot of confidence especially if you used to have like a lot of hair and everything my hair was just not growing it was getting drier and drier as time was passing by and yeah I was just not I was just like you know what just start over and when I decided to start over I felt like I had brand new hair my, my hair texture was just so different and I cut my hair very very short you guys have seen the process I filmed it and I'm actually gonna list you know like my big chop video in the description box down below so you guys can see it if you haven't I cut my hair like extremely short it was extremely short almost bald i wouldn't say bald bald but bald if it makes sense <laughs> the thing about the big chop has really changed like my perspective on hair because deciding to do the big chop took me a good year you know because i was like okay what are you gonna do you have a big ass head like who's like how are you gonna take care of it and i know for a fact that i don't want to be wearing wigs i don't really like wigs like that so i was like what are you gonna do and I don't know, I just I just went for it, you know, I just pressed out the whole thing pretty much and you know when I cut my hair I was like, oh my god, like I felt like liberated pretty much and it was just one of the best feeling ever honestly and if I if I have to do it again I would definitely do it. Maybe in a year or two, like I'll cut my hair again. I mean I just wanna let it grow just to see like you know how far it can go, like how how much it can grow, but like I wouldn't mind cutting my hair again and um, you know when I've done the big chop I was expecting myself to just not do anything to my hair but I feel like I'm actually taking better care and I definitely know how to handle my hair way better now you know shampoos like what kind to use what kind not to use you know the products like the hairstyle and stuff I know that in some of my hairstyles you guys are like yeah it's too much product but hey at the end of the day this is what nourishes my hair because like I said you know like my scalp like absorbs like products like very easily my scalp my hair like it absorbs like products like very easily so i'm not expecting you guys to do the same i'm just showing you like you know what, what works best for me and um like i said yeah if i have to do it again i would def i definitely will like i said when you know i did my big job i was just not expecting myself to be rocking my natural hair like the way i was you know, I was expecting myself to be spending a lot of money on wigs, you know, like collaborating with companies, like, you know, for them to send me wigs and all of that. Like, I'm just telling you that. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. And it didn't happen, and I'm really happy about it. It improved my confidence. Like, not saying that I was not confident before, but I feel like I was just, I was just proud of myself, you know, like, be rocking my hair. And I'm talking about it, and I know that you guys must be wondering then why she wearing this. Listen, summer is over and I pretty much haven't done anything to my hair since, you know, I I big chopped. It's been pretty much eight months since I've done something to my hair, like no braiding, nothing. And, you know, with the cold weather, I just wanted to like find like a protective hairstyle. I found this one. This is not my, my first time doing this, but this is actually my first time, you know, um, 
filming with this hair on me. These are actually individuals and uh, these are crochet hair. And I have the package right here just in case you guys want to see what it looks like actually. So this is the package here and you know you have like different colors so I decided to do like the ombre look like brown gold golden ish and I love it this is actually one of my favorite hairstyles this is probably like gonna be my only hairstyle for till I find like a better one and I'm pretty sure that I'm not because I love the colors and everything I love the ombre look and yeah it's just so light and um yeah I just use about like three or four no I think yeah four packs so it's not really much, it's very, very light. So if you guys want to do the same thing, then you can definitely find it at your local beauty supply store. You know, it retails for what? I would say I mean, between six or nine dollars, max 10, but um, yeah, for a pack. Last time I had this hair, it lasted for a good, like almost two months. So just take care of it, you know, like you don't have to do much. You don't have to do anything like as long as you know you take care of your scalp and everything like just you know add some oil so you know like your scalp does not get you know itchy and uh yeah like i pretty much do my edges and you know i don't do anything on this hair like just make sure that you know when you go to sleep and everything like just wrap maybe a scarf around it and this is this is what it looks like you know just a small so you guys can see and um yeah it's um 18 inches and this is the 1b27 i'm just i just love this hair i haven't been i haven't been taking you know hair hair pills at all like since you know i did the big job because i really wanted to see how much my hair could like grow on its own and the results been amazing and <laughs> honestly i didn't really notice like the growth because i mean i could see my hair growing but not as much as you know some people did because they're like oh my god your hair is growing so fast i'm like no what are you talking about it's just like it's not that much like stop exaggerating but when i put like the two pictures together you know like the day i did the big chop and a few two or three weeks ago i was like oh wow like it actually grew a lot i feel like if you focus on length too much you will never see your hair really grow so if you have to do some protective hairstyle for you to be able to like get your mind off of it like then go ahead but I remember that when I did my big chop, I couldn't do anything to my hair, not even braid it, like not do anything, even you know, like the little pigtails that I would do like on the sides, like I couldn't even do that because my hair was that short. I couldn't even braid it, like it's just crazy. And now that I'm doing it, it's like, wow, oh my God. But yeah, I'm wearing this um, protective hairstyle just to protect my hair from, you know, like the cold weather, you know, like summer is over. Fall this year is getting really cold. Today was like pretty much what 55 here in Atlanta, and um, yeah, I just and now moving on to the products that I use, you know, to define my curls. I know that I have a lot of videos with my afro and you know my big chop after and how I style it, but I swear I feel like my hair is so different right now. Like my hair is probably a good, I would say 4A 4B mixed definitely not like only one texture you know it's like a mix so definitely 4a 4b i feel like the front part right now instead of it being a 4b it's a 4a and the back area like the crown area is definitely a 4b instead of 4c but my hair is like super super soft and when i cut my hair i was like oh my god i should have done this like a long time ago i wish i had done it like way 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 before because the way my hair feels right now, like it's just amazing, honestly. And you know, I understand that doing the big job can be hella scary because you don't know how crazy you're gonna look or you don't know if it's gonna fit you or and I feel like I'm lucky because yeah, like I feel like short hair fits me. I was just planning on, you know, getting like a lot of wigs and everything and I'm, I'm really happy that I haven't. I'm really happy that I I found a way to stop my hair like and make it look good and found a way to just to just adapt. I'm glad that I found a way to just adapt to you know my new change. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just gonna try to talk about the products that I've been using and what I've been doing to my hair for it to actually grow one thing that i've definitely been doing i feel like a huge change is that i've been moisturizing my hair every single day since i big chopped i will use this this simple water bottle and 
pretty much spray it all over my hair not like for it to be like soaking wet but definitely damp and then move on to my lustrous silk you guys know how much like i live for this product and this is not only for short hair this is definitely this is like the best product on this planet guys like it is for all type of hair and for us you know like black women you know like with you know like kinkier hair i swear this is gonna be like your best friend because this has been mine and I have at least like 10 bottles like this in my bathroom right now because I live for this and it's only $6.99 you can see it like on the tag right here it's only $6.99 and this lasts me for a good month month a month or a month and a half so you guys have definitely have to like try this out oh my god you guys have to try this out because it makes your hair so soft like so soft for mine like my hair the moisture stays there for a good like six seven days so you guys have definitely have to try it out like you guys are not gonna regret it and what I love about this is not it's not for a specific type of like hair it's for all types of hair but it's definitely something that you need to try if you have type for hair this is gonna change your life like just makes the whole process like so easier and quicker like you guys have no idea and you can find it on Amazon you can find it at your local beauty supply store it's for only $6.99 and uh, yeah, I use the Eco Styler Gel. I know that some people don't want to use it anymore. And I actually made a video saying that I was not going to use it anymore. But yo, I'm back to it and I love it. And I love how my hair feels. And this is actually the only one, you know, I use for now. Um, I used to use the Eco Styler Gel, like the gold one. But I feel like my hair, I don't know. I don't know if the, it, it smells, it smells amazing. But with time, I was just like, the fact that it's, smells so strong like it's probably not good for my hair and i feel like when i compare the two my hair gets a little bit drier but the curls man like it defines my curls so well this one does too but the other one like defines my curls so well but i feel like it makes them drier so i'd rather just focus on the moisture than you know like there's not much much of a difference but you can definitely see a little difference not something but yeah i'd rather stick to this one you know the eco style gel black castor oil and flaxseed oil this is my all-time fave so these are pretty much the three products i use and this is gonna be in another video where i'm gonna show you how i refresh my curls um every morning it takes me a good two to five minutes literally every single day and i have actually a bunch of videos where i show you my wash and go and you know how i style my hair and once i do that i'm good for a good like one week or two. Oh yeah and actually one thing that i forgot to mention that i feel like made my hair grow this much is that i would i wouldn't brush my hair like i don't brush my hair at all like unless you know like it's for wash and go you know like when i'm washing my hair but try as much as you can to avoid brushing your hair using that comb or anything because the less you brush your hair or comb your hair the less breakage you will have of course you know you always lose hair like pretty much every single day not that there's something wrong with you or something it's just natural like you pretty much have hair shedding which is totally fine this is something normal but like i said you know like i feel like when you brush your hair or comb your hair you pretty much lose more than you should so try as much as you can not saying not to brush your hair but try as much as you can to avoid brushing your hair instead you know what you could do just finger detangle use what god gave you use your your, your fingers and detangle your hair instead of like using something a little bit more intense that makes sense and uh, the other thing that I feel like also helped me grow my hair this much was definitely my scalp massager and I have you know a few videos where I'm showing you how I use it so usually I will you know use the shampoo use um, my conditioner and literally like when I'm done detangling my hair like you know when I brush it so yeah I will use it for a good like five minutes you know like just run it through my hair I love it because like it actually vibrates so it pretty much like promotes hair growth and it feels so good on your head like it feels so good it's amazing for your scalp like this is literally what I use and for shampoos and conditioner um, I also can list you know a few products that I've been using but um, not saying that I have a specific specific one that I use like 
only like every single time but there's definitely something that i have to say which is try your best if you really want to grow your hair try your best to get away from chemicals you know paraben okay and i'm gonna list you know what i've been using that's really good for your hair too and yeah i don't have a specific one but as long as it doesn't have that i'm good you know one thing that helped me grow my hair is to stay away from the heat and chemicals stay away from them okay no heat no chemicals I know some people are saying eco salad is not good I haven't seen anything wrong with my hair so far so I'm gonna keep on using it but like I said you know stay away from the heat stay away from chemicals if I had to say anything else to anybody I would definitely say you know if you want to cut your hair think about it you know like I don't want you guys to rush into anything and decide to just cut your hair because you feel like yeah it looks it looks good on somebody else because we're the same but at the same time we we are different you know what I'm saying like we have different head shapes we have we have different tastes like just don't do something if you don't feel like you know deep down you want to do it don't do it because you feel like it looks good on somebody that's all I'm saying Doing the big chop was just never on my mind like that until until last year. I was like, you know what, I just woke up one day and I was like, I want to cut my hair. I want to cut my hair. And then in February, I was like, I remember I came back from school. It was at night. And then I don't know what happened. I was like, I'm going to cut my hair tomorrow. And my sister was like, yeah, 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 right, right, right. You're going to cut it tomorrow. And the next thing you know, I woke up the morning after. I just decided to film, like put my camera right here, you know, turn the lights on. She was sleeping just right here in her room. And next thing you know, she wakes up and I don't have hair anymore, pretty much. <laughs> Doing that literally changed my perspective on hair. Cause I felt like, yeah, hair was everything. Your hair has to be like that. Your hair has to be like that. It's, it's you, you know, like you do whatever you want. If it makes you look good, it makes you feel good about yourself, then go ahead. But I'm just saying like, you don't need anything to feel beautiful. You know, I feel like it's all in your head first. It's all in your head. You don't need anything to feel beautiful. You know, like just have a positive mind, be confident about yourself. And yeah, like you, you just don't need anything to feel beautiful. You don't need makeup. You don't need makeup. And I'm saying this is crazy because I wear makeup pretty much 80% of the time, but you don't need makeup to feel beautiful. And I do it because I love it. It's something that I've always been like a big fan of like since I've been, what, 15? So you don't, you don't need clothes, you don't need makeup, you don't need to have wigs to feel beautiful. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. Just because other people do that doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing. Keep every everybody else out, you know? Just do it because this is what you want to do. And because you're only thinking about yourself. You know what? Sometimes you got to be a little bit selfish. Sometimes you got to be a little bit different, you know? Like, it's fine. It's fine because I feel like I am. I am not saying that I'm better than anybody. No, this is not what I'm saying. But I just feel like, yeah, I'm different, definitely different. And everybody is different in like some way. So think for yourself. That's all I'm gonna say for now. And yeah, and if you guys have any questions down below, please don't hesitate to to comment. You know, subscribe, like, click definitely on that notification bell. But. Um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you guys later bye